45 assists in 168 league appearances, a Premier League winner's medal, a former young player of the season, star of his boyhood club, and still only 23 years old. Trent Alexander-Arnold has it all. Well, almost all. One thing he doesn't have is a place in Gareth Southgate's England team, despite already being considered one of the greatest fullbacks England has ever produced. So, it's clearly down to us at Football Reality to discover why Gareth Southgate hates Trent Alexander-Arnold, or at least why you won't pick him for England. It's quite safe to say that England's form in recent months hasn't exactly been stellar. After a couple of friendly wins in March, they had a disastrous Nation League's campaign. Losing twice to Hungary, including a 4-0 home defeat, the heaviest since 1928, taking one point from two matches with Italy and drawing twice with Germany, as the three lines were relegated to League B. Such form going into any other winter would be concerning, but there would be plenty of time to turn things around. Unfortunately for Southgate and England, this winter is the exception, as the 2022 World Cup is just over a month away. England still have a great chance of going far in Qatar, considering the talent within their squad. But the It's Coming Home bandwagon has certainly hit some bumps on the road, as many fans have recently lost faith and patience in the manager, who has taken them to a semi-final and final in his previous two tournaments. England are good, but the likes of Brazil, Argentina and France are seen as better this time around. Some positions within the England team, no matter how bad things have got, have a guaranteed starter, but at right back, Southgate has much more of a selection headache, with Kyle Walker, Rhys James and John Stones all playing a right wing back or on the right side of the back three, ahead of Trent in recent England fixtures. And that's before we've mentioned Kieran Trippier, Southgate's first choice right back for the last two major tournaments, who could well be the go-to man again in Qatar. Speaking of major tournaments, Alexander-Arnold was Trippier's backup at Russia 2018 when still a teenager, before he was ruled out of Euro 2020 through injury on the eve of the tournament, when the same selection headache existed. And even then, there were question marks over how integral Trent was to Southgate's plans. So far, Trent has 17 caps and one goal in an England shirt, which many 23-year-olds could only dream of having. But four and a half years on from his debut, it's a low total for a player of such stature and ability. A clear indicator of how the manager is not his biggest fan. Perhaps because being England manager is quite a serious position, it's not a simple matter of whether Southgate is a Trent Alexander-Arnold fanboy or not. And instead, it's a question of what system Southgate uses and whether Trent is suited to them. As we mentioned, a back three as part of a 3-4-1-2 formation is one that Southgate tends to favour. Here, the manager often selects Kyle Walker on the right side of the three, as the Manchester City man can cover well as both a fullback and centre-back. Or he opts for a more traditional centre-back in this role, recently filled by Walker's club teammate John Stones. The one criticism often directed at Trent is his defending ability, a pretty big hole in a defender's CV if you ask me. So it could make sense that Southgate, a man who knows a lot about playing in defence for England himself, doesn't trust Trent in a back three, where being caught out of position is quickly going to lead to conceding goals. In that same formation, Southgate tends to back up the defensive three by deploying wing backs on either side of the pitch. In their most recent match, a 3 all draw with Germany, a back three of Stones, Eric Dyer and Harry Maguire had Rhys James and Luke Shaw ahead of it on the wings. Playing five defenders at once is another stick people use to beat Southgate with, especially when he has more attacking players at his disposal than any other England manager in decades. Regardless of this, there seems to be no real reason why Trent can't be selected regularly at right wing back, allowing him more freedom to get forward and put crosses into the box, as he does week in, week out for Jurgen Klopp's men. For the Germany game, Trent wasn't even named among the substitutes, while Kieran Trippier was, meaning the Liverpoolian played no minutes during England's last international break before the World Cup. Addressing this, Southgate, 
want to always speak positively about his players, claimed that Trippier's all-round game was ahead of Trent's, possibly alluding to Alexander-Arnold's defensive frailties. We aren't saying Southgate is wrong about Trippier, a top-class defender. But surely, in that wing-back position, there is no one that could be more dangerous for England than Trent. Southgate has also gone with the back four on numerous occasions, most recently in that infamous 4-0 loss to Hungary. Speaking after that game, Southgate shouldered the responsibility, admitting he got the tactics wrong. That maybe means we won't be seeing a back four for the three Lions for a while, which could spell more bad news for Alexander-Arnold, who plays on the right of the same system for Liverpool. If it's not his best position, then at least it's the one he has by far the most experience in. Having said that, maybe it won't make a blind bit of difference to Trent, as he would still be behind Trippier, Walker and James regardless of the system. For us, it seems two of three possible positions available to him would suit him perfectly. Are we wrong? Another thing to consider is the fact that Liverpool's form has been patchy at best so far this season, especially in defence. The Reds are ninth in the table with just two wins from seven games and have conceded nine goals. Trent has been caught out on more than one occasion at the back. Plus, he hasn't assisted any of Liverpool's 18 goals, though he has scored one. You could make the case for Trent not being Southgate's number one based on current form. But you know the old saying, form is temporary, class is permanent. So why would Southgate overlook him now? Or indeed any other time over the last four years? The snubbing of Trent by Southgate has led to many pundits getting involved in the debate. Gary Lineker took to Twitter to gently remind everyone, including the manager, that England's most creative player was sat on the bench experiencing some minor discomfort. Gary Neville, meanwhile, Mr. Manchester United and England right back himself, pointed out Alexander Arnold's issues, but went as far as to deliver a four point plan to get him back in the England team. Such was his desire to see him included. Another former England stalwart, John Terry, was quick to agree. And what's Trent himself been up to while everyone's been debating his importance? Scoring in the Champions League and silencing some critics. So there we have it. Is there any good reason why Trent Alexander-Arnold is being left out of the England team? Is this more about Gareth Southgate not being a good enough coach to get the best out of such a talented player? Or is he right to say Trent has some improving to do and there are better players ahead of him? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to Football Reality and we'll see you next time.